now let's take a look at how to use react list and keys in react component list is a collection of values it may be numbers string null values or any valid data type you can use list to make the ui iterable so in this lecture i'm going to show you how to use list and keys in react component and i'm going to show you how to make your ui iterable so let me just start with a very simple example to understand how list and keys work together so inside this component i'm going to create a new component file so i'm going to say here new file and name this file list.js and inside this file i'm going to create a simple example let me just close all these unwanted files just like this and just for that here i'm going to create a simple class component so i'm going to say here react class component and i press enter i'm going to have a list react class component inside this class component i'm going to first create a constructor so up here i'm going to say constructor pass here props the properties parameter and then say here super props just out of that here i'm going to create a property this dot number i'm going to create a new property of list component so i'm going to say here this dot number and pass here an array so i'm going to pass here square bracket and then i'm going to pass here a few values here so i'm going to say here one two three four and five so i'm going to pass five value inside this array and then i'm going to show you how to iterate it and just for that inside this render method just up here i'm going to just iterate this value so i'm going to say here using map iterate method so just down here i'm going to use javascript map method so i'm going to say here this dot number dot map i'm going to use the javascript map method this method is used to iterate over the array so i'm going to use this method here and inside this parenthesis of this map method i'm going to pass a callback function so here i'm going to say number and pass here an arrow this is an arrow function right so inside this arrow function i'm going to say li a list tag i'm going to add here li element and just print this number so this map method is going to iterate over all these elements and store all these elements one by one inside this variable and i'm going to just print it so this method is going to return this li tag so let me just store it in a variable so i'm going to say here constant list items is equal to so i'm going to just store this li tags inside this variable and just down here and inside this div i'm going to say ul and inside this ul i'm going to print my li tags so as you know i have all my li tags inside this list item so i'm going to just pass this variable here just like this now because we have this variable inside this render method that is why i can use this list variable easily inside this return statement let me save the changes and back to my index.js and right now instead of this rendering i'm using this list component so i'm going to just get rid of this path and pass here list don't forget to pass here list just like this let me save the changes oops i think i misspelled something let me just back to the list.js yeah right here i just missed the return statement here because right now this method is not going to return anything so let me just pass here return statement let me save the changes back to my browser and as you can see i have all my elements here so using this map method i can iterate over my elements and create my ui when i inspect this tool when i click on the inspect in the console you can see i have here a warning call each child in a list should have a unique key property you will be given this warning that the key should be provided for list item a key is a special string attribute you need to include when creating a list of elements so when you use map method or any method to iterate over your list item you need to pass a unique key in react so let me show you how to assign a key to our list item and fix this issue so just down here inside this list i'm going to pass here a key and inside the curly braces i'm going to pass number dot to string just like this so i'm going to just pass this number and just convert it into string so i'm going to just uniquely identify this list with this key back to my browser and reload it as you can see i'm not going to have any warning in my console so i just uniquely identify all my keys let me show you if i click on this element click on this root and you can notice here inside this list i have here a maker attribute this will just uniquely identify all these list item 
case in react help us to identify which item have changed keep in mind keys should be unique among their siblings now suppose you are using a list item in a component then let me show you how you can specify them now let's suppose you have a new component here so let me just create here a component called list item here i'm going to create a function and specify name to it list item and then i'm going to pass here property so i can just specify value when i call this list item component inside it i'm going to say constant value is equal to props dot value and just out of that i'm going to just return it so i'm going to say here return and inside this return statement i'm going to say li so i'm going to just call this li j6 element and paste it down here and just for that here instead of this number two string i'm going to just pass value dot two string just like this so i can pass this value when i call this list item just for that i want to print this li tag with this unique key so just up here instead of this li tag right now i can pass this list item so i'm going to copy it and paste it just like this and let me just close it and as you know i have property to this list item so let me just pass it so i'm going to just copy this value pass it here and pass here a value so let me just pass here number just like this now let me save the changes and execute this program and when i click on the inspect tool you can notice i'm going to have an error message you can notice i specify here unique key to identify each li tag but still i'm going to get an error message because this is not the correct way to define the key in react jsx element so let me show you how to correct this statement so let me show you how to correct this statement so instead of passing this key to this li tag i'm going to pass this attribute to this list item so to this list i'm going to just specify here key is equal to and here i'm going to say number dot to string just like this let me save the changes back to my browser and reload it as you can see this will just remove and fix my issue so whenever you add iteratable function or any method of javascript you need to pass key to that jsx element as i said react use key to add remove or change the element so i hope you understand how to work with list and keys in react component next i'm going to show you how to work with forms in react